Teens. At gayon, ang pinakahihintay ng buong bayang Pilipinas, nagkatotoo na rin ang pinapangarap na rekonsilyasyon na kay tagal lang hinihintay ng buong bayan. At ang rekonsilyasyon na to ay dyan magaganap dito mismo sa RPN The Network sa pinakamalakas na programang Actually Yun Na, mga kababayan. Dito lang pwede magtagpo ang silangan at kanluran, ang langit at lupa, ang buwan at araw, ang Romualdez, ang Kuwampo, Marcos, Aquino at Ignacio. <laughs> Walang iba kundi si Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Tumayo po tayo lahat at magpugay. <laughs> Congressman! Isa tumayo. Hello, Welcome to Actually United. Thank, Thank you very you. much at pinaunlakan mo kami. No, not at all. It's, it's a pleasure. Nung, nung dumating yung paanyaya sa akin, eh, di sabi ko, hindi? Sa, sa wakas. Sa... Oo, oh, ano man. At magkumpare at kumare tayo. Ah, mayon, Meron ah, kaming ah. inaanak yung anak ko ng isang mayor from Isabela, si Mayor Bodji D. How are you? I am fine, thank you very much. Uh, I've been uh, a little busy, but... I uh, commented kanina na you lost a lot of weight. Is I, it because of your health club, hindi? Well, uh, I try to keep a health regimen. Talagang uh, nat natutunan ko yun sa ama ko is to try and uh, exercise. Lalo na pagka uh, nangangampanya ka o nasa labas ka, it's very important, you know, because you have to keep going, you don't eat at the right time, hindi ka natutulog. So, those things have to be maintained. Speaking of your father, what was President Marcos like as a father growing up? Kasi how old were you when he was elected, Bale? Um, yung yung unang birthday ko sa Palacio was eight. Eight, eight years, years old. old. Oh. So most, actually all of your teenage years. All of my teenage years. and Including your twenties. Most of my twenties. Uh -oh. yeah, mga 28 na kami nung umalis. So that was, uh, that was a long, long time. Yeah, in was he a disciplinarian? Well, hindi naman sa disciplinarian in the sense that uh, he would make very clear kung anong, uh, anong hinahanap niya sa inyo, what mm -hmm. he expects from you. And he would make it very clear if you did not live up to the standards that he put, that uh, may, na medyo masama ang loob niya sa iyo. Uh, in terms of actual pure discipline, yung pumapalo or something like that, hindi naman gano. Ang e mommy mo? Mami ko, mas lalong yes. hindi. Masyadong mabait yun. She cannot even, uh, she, she would just, uh, siguro pag hindi na niya matiis yung, uh, mm -hmm. yung frustration niya, iiyak na lang yun. Pero I, in terms of actual, actual beating, as, the, as yes. the English call it, I was beaten more in my school in England than I ever was by my parents. But when you were studying here, nasa Lasal ka, La Salle, Green Hills, yes. How was it? Uh, was it a problem dahil marami kang bodyguards? Were the other boys... Ilang? Medyo aloof ba sila sa'yo? Well, I'm sure nadaanan mo rin yun. Yet, of course, hindi, pero ako high school na. Oh, so, medyo iba na yung ano Ka nun. Kasi kung bata naman, yung mga ganong, ganong edad, hindi pa masyadong naiisip. Natutuwa lang sila. May mga baril ba yan? May mga ano. Yan lang naman ang tinatanong. But, uh, madaling makalimutan yan. Basta't mga bata, nakikita mo, magsasama-sama. Maglalaro yan. So, it wasn't really, it wasn't really a problem. And, uh, when it when it would have been a problem in high school, I had already left, so I was uh, in the in in England. Hindi na masyado yung security nakikita. Nung ano ka, when you were growing up, did you have children's parties sa Malacanang? Oh, madalas, madalas. In fact, yung mga children's parties namin, yung mga party namin uh -huh. mga magkapatid, do naginagawa sa sa palasyo because uh, we would invite a lot of people. They would have performers and things like that. We'd have we'd have great parties in the palace. All your life, kasi, bale, both parents are very active in politics. Do you think that is what has led you to go into this kind of life? Oh, in, uh, hindi mo maiwasan. There is no, no way. The, the only way you can uh, explain uh, my have, having entered politics is mm -hmm. definitely because of uh, how my father really, uh, that he, he even said it in his, uh, when he was still alive, uh, that, that uh, he would say, I have committed not only myself, to the work that I have done. I have not committed only my person, but my wife and my family too. And uh, the time will come when you will find that you have no choice. Uh, not, not to enter politics, but perhaps in the positions, in the, the kind of causes that we would champion. So, matagal na talagang na, alam na namin na kahit papano, yung ginawa ng aming ama will uh, affect us for, for the rest of our lives, so, in whatever fashion. So, 
And it, it's turning out to be true because how can something that that dominant uh, be, be suddenly just just go away? So kahit na ngayon, ilang taon na ito, we're still feeling the effects of uh, what my father what my father did. And I have no doubt uh, to the day I die, I will be feeling those effects. You're the middle child, Bob. I am the middle child, yes. How is it? Kasi ako youngest, eh, so medyo na baby talaga ako. Ikaw middle child, only boy pa. Uh... Siguro, I don't know. It never felt Dominating like... Dominating bang ate si Aimee? Hindi the, naman. Uh, ate. She was a proper uh-huh. ate. Tinuturoan kami. Kaya, halimbawa, nung bata pa kami, nung una kaming dumating lalo sa England, dahil uh, hindi, hindi kami marunan. Bakit kayo pinadala sa England? Mostly security. Yes. Uh, madami kami problema sa security dahil uh, ako, marami Anong mga year na when you went to England? I bale? left for England in 1969. My first, uh-huh. no, 70. 70 was my first year there. And then you stayed there until when? I stayed there for almost ten years until uh, the eight, I until I left for uh, University of uh, Philadelphia of Pennsylvania. Nagwarton ka, yeah, diba? that's when so, I went to Wharton, yeah. Do you feel na those ten years helped you a lot? Because at least um, he, medyo ordinaryo kang citizen. In oh, malaking England. oh, malaking bagay. Dahil in fact, that was one of the reasons, no, that my father. But uh, of of course, he would have preferred. Na oh. dito kami naka, dito kami nakatira sa Manila. How did you keep in touch with what was going on dito? It was Kasi syempre when martial law was declared, you were abroad. It wasn't easy. I was uh, when martial law was declared, uh-huh. uh, we had expected something dramatic to yes. happen. Uh, because marami nung basis na my dad would say that this is a real problem, we may have to do this, we may have to do that. But um, in, 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 in general, how did we keep up? My parents would send us newspaper clippings. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would call, we would write. In, in, in my school in England, there was, uh, you had to write one letter to your parents every week. Talaga. So that uh, that was it was actually a good thing because i- i- iba yung tawag eh. iba yung iba yung sulat yung sulat hinahawakan mo and you can read it again and again and it really uh, taught taught I think both sides including my parents the the habit of writing so they would send us the news uh, nung nauso na yung um, videotape ng papadala yes. ng videotape so that they would try but inevitably pag uwi mo rito maraming nangyari na hindi mo na namalayan so you just have to catch up Medyo, let's go naman dun sa lighter side. Ang first girlfriend mo ba since you were in England? British ba siya? <laughs> Ay, naku, nung nasa England ako, wala akong panahon. Hindi, hindi kami pinapalabas na iskulahan. They would not, they would let oh. me out. I would be in school for, isang semester namin was three months. Mm-hmm. Sa tatlong buwan, I would be able to sleep one night outside of school. Yun lang. Yun lang. Uh-huh. And every month, I could spend one Sunday out of school. So, so when you'd make legal, dito na? Ah, dito na siguro sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Kasi dito, dun, halos di ka, kahit yung mga restaurant, yung mga bar, di ka makapasok, yung mga nightclub. Eh dito, hindi masyadong strict to. Kahit basta't may kasama kang may edad, they will let you in. Do you feel na a lot of the girls were <laughs> fawning over you na pinagkakaguluhan ka dahil bongbong Marcos ka? Uh, or do you think it's your charming personality? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that they were fawning over me to begin with. Uh, I don't know kung bakit lahat ng tao, ang kanilang impression sa akin are that the women were fawning over me. There were, believe me, there were times kung I would be calling, trying to get a date, and I couldn't get a date. Why suddenly this image of uh, women fawning all over me? But I, I don't know. Uh, I think, yung, uh, pag, you, you tell me if I'm right. Yung pag-anak ng presidente, that last mga 5-10 minutes, unless may complex na talaga yung tao, yung talagang galit sa'yo ka dahil anak ka ng presidente, wala ka na magagawa. But karamihan naman ng mga tao, pagka nakausap mo na, after 5-10 minutes, wala na, that's over. Uh, except for the fact that you're surrounded by Would anybody <laughs> have the guts to say na, Oy, pare, galit ako sa'yo. Bakit ganyan naman ang mga magulang mo? Would they d- dare do that to you? Hindi naman. Meron, magkikriticize magk- sila, pero hindi yung galit ako sa'yo. Sasabihin, bakit naman ganyan? Alam mo yung tao, hindi ganyan dapat, hindi ganyan ang, hindi tama ang ginagawa, hindi, hindi ganyan ang tingin sa ginagawa ninyo, etc., etc. So, uh, inevitably, that, that would happen. Kasi naman, if you have good friends, uh, they will tell you what they believe to be the best. Pagka naman sa tingin nila, it's, 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 it's a criticism that is not merely to, not, not mischievous or naninira lang, then it, it, that's, that's valid and you just accept it. How would you react about the criticism hurled at your parents through the press and through the mass media? But before you answer that, we're going to pause for a while. Napaka-interesting ho ng ating discussion with Mr. Bong Bong Marcos. Please don't go away. Asking 
know how you'd react to criticism. Because ako, I, I would be affected by it. Would it affect you as well? Uh, I guess nung talagang mabigat na at saka masakit na, well, there were times, no, that uh, especially after 86 when people were taking real liberties with the truth. And uh, wala, nandun kami, hindi, na, hindi, hindi kami makasagot, hindi kami, hindi, wala kami access sa mga media, wala tayong magagawa, ganun lang talaga. But yung run-of-the-mill na pangkaraniwa na 